Okay, folks, we've got a Grand Design Imagine XLS 22MLE, and it's a 2021. I'll just kind of go through some of the outdoor features, and then we'll show uh, some of the inside. So up here on the front, um, you got your standard stuff, the adjustments for the level. Um, that runs off the battery, which is right here, standard DC battery. You gotta check that this little water levels every now and then. Propane under here, there's two of them. Um, this is a custom bike bunk that I installed. Um, you can see, drilled the holes myself. It's very sturdy. Um, we've been towing these two bikes around thousands of miles, haven't had any trouble. Um, so that's that. Also, all these kind of accessories, like the lock on uh, the ball lock here, the lock on the pin. Um, we've got our Blue Ox um, anti-sway hitch here. And also we've got a lock. This has a little lock on it. Show it there. See, it's locked there. So <clears throat> lots of different points to make sure that uh, your trailer stays safe while you're not around it side here we've got all our hookups so um, obviously again this is all we're gonna include all of this um, water pressure regulator water filter uh, nice fresh water hose um, it's pretty long too as you can see um, and hooks up into here this is your city water fresh water connections um, so that's that you've also got a plug in here for a hose a little spray hose if you like um, that you can use and then uh, this is your battery shutoff right you got some electric outlets here which we've used for charging stuff and then we've got a slew of other things in here these are the anti-sway bars um, some tools that um, at least some of the ones that are RV specific we will give you this is for loosening and tightening the stabilizers here as you can see um, and I do recommend getting one of these so that you don't have to do the manual cranking all the time um, so that's that we'll also be including our surge protector here this is a 22 MLE that runs on 30 amp so that's what you got um, this power cord we've got here is like 20 or 30 feet it's probably 30 feet you have like all the standard um, cleaning stuff that you'll need for your sewer connection we've got this one hose here that's already hooked up um, there's another extension to it that's in here as well um, we got pretty standard stuff here as far as the black and the gray I actually need to drain the gray so I'm gonna go ahead and do that See, it's pretty soapy right now because we were running a bunch of dawn through it to try and uh, just keep those sensors clean so there you go what else we got here hot water heater of course uh, runs off both electricity and gas if you need it um, then you've got this is the vent for the fridge um, also runs off both electricity and gas um, this is your oven vent You've got a ladder up to the top of the roof, which you might need to go up to. Um, you're supposed to clean off the top of the slide out before you pull it in. So that's one of the main things we use the, the roof ladder for, other than just general roof maintenance. Um, we had the pre-installed um, backup camera put in there. And in addition, we also have the side cameras installed here and there's one on the other side as well um, so that's the other side of the pass-through storage of course We've got the awning um, we can demonstrate that in a moment um, and I'll show it off the lights on the outside as well other than that pretty standard stuff this is your uh, gravity fill fresh water electric outlets cable and finally the flush port for your black tank and just a regular old spray port a lot like the one in the pass through on the other side i think that's about it uh the tires that we have here are goodyear tires um, they're pretty solid they've held up well still have a 
decent little bit of tread left. But they're getting close to the end of their life probably. Um, definitely recommend the American made tires. Some of the other sewer stuff we have. Um, special sewer hose, the other things um, that you can use for sloping your sewer line down to the ground. Um, but that's pretty much it. All right, let's take this inside. First thing, let's just show the uh, the lights for the exterior and sure. you can roll out the awning a little bit if you want. So there's the lights and there's also some blue light that comes from the speakers. All right. Ah, rain. And you got the awning, which we don't need to put out all the way. We can post the picture with it out. Yeah. Then, Works good. Nice yeah. and clean. You can show the control panel on the inside for this. And um, there's also an app that you can put on your phone if you have access to Wi Fi and control all of this from your phone. So you've got your interior, exterior lighting, pump for when you're using your fresh tank, gas for if you want to use propane to heat up your heater. This could give you a lot longer, yeah, your water heater. This gives you a lot longer uh, of a hot water shower. Electric still gives you a pretty good, like maybe five to 10 minute shower, depending on how scalding you want your water. Um, then here we've got a speaker system, interior and exterior zones. Um, you can isolate it to one or the other or both. And you can uh, hook this up to your Bluetooth right here. All the other features that are usual with yeah. a speaker system. Mostly you'll use it for Bluetooth or uh, playing DVDs. Right. Next we've got some interesting features in the inside of the RV. Tons of storage. Um, these are like the personal closets. They go back, back as far as you can see right there to the back of this wood. Uh, same thing with the storage up here. Com completely back to the back of the RV. So there's lots of storage for pillows or lightweight things up there if you want. Clothes, we have clothes up there. Um, then they've, you've got this privacy curtain right here. If you want to extend it, you can. We've got it just uh, nicely tightened up right now, so it's out of the way. Here we've just got a, a photo hanging with a command strip, so it is completely removable, no holes in the wall or anything. For your reading lamps, you've got both the white and the blue light features. There are tons of lights in this RV if you like really bright lights overhead. We prefer dimmer lights, so what we did was we modified it with a bunch of light strips. These are optional, we could take them with us and there's no holes or anything. Or if the next owner would like them, you get a variety of uh, colors. There's a whole rainbow selection. We also did the same with the lighting behind the TV because it's, it's better in your eyes. And they all have a remote right here. Um, so you can control all the different colors for that. And also we have a light underneath here on the counter. We just feel like it gives it a nice ambiance. It's kind of just tucked up there with tape right now, but if you want to make it more permanent, you sure can. Um, and if you don't want it, we can remove it. That's another um, light that was included. It's pretty nice for doing dishes at nighttime. Um, it's a little bright. Though. It's a little bright. Here's our restroom. Uh, right now, this is where I store our brush, our, our broom, I mean, and our mop. Um, all of this goes really far back storage wise. So you can put all your toilet paper, your tissues, your cleaners, whatever. Same thing underneath the sink here, lots of storage. There's two shelves in this, uh, in these cabinets right here. Uh, and then there's three shelves in this cabinet. It goes all the way back as well. Um, you've got outlets there for plugging in if you wanna do your electric toothbrush. You have outlets here, you have outlets here, you have outlets here there are outlets everywhere in this rv over on the side of the bed you've got your usb outlets right now i've got my air purifier running we keep it running 24 7 because we like to keep dust out of the place we kept this rv very nice and clean the whole time we've had it and since we do a lot of traveling and rving is in nature you get dust so this is just one thing we do to keep it clean in here um but yeah you've got your two regular outlets as well um and then in the side of the bed you've got 
cubbies and inside there's also two USB ports and we have one hooked up right now to a fan they modified because we like to sleep with a little bit of the air. More command strips. Um, more command strips, nothing, no holes. So easily removable if desired. Um, with our seats here at the booth, we have this um, leather side. It's, it's fake leather, not real, but you can flip it and turn it into um, this checkered pattern if you want. Um, you just switch it to the other side of the booth. And it's a cute little like country style that they created for this RV. I think it was, the color was like country um, mm -hmm. wood or something like that. So here is the internal. Do you want to show how the chairs work? They go pretty far back. There's a little handle there, extends almost completely. We have slept here. It's easy to fall asleep um, when you're enjoying a nice night. Um, they come with a heater with a few different settings, high, medium, low, and then, um, or high, medium, and then off. And then these lights underneath, if you want a cool little ambiance as well, you can turn them on for both. There's also a massage setting, which is more of a vibration, but still, if you like, uh, vibration frequencies, then you would really like this, I think. And there's three settings for that one. Uh, the fridge is huge. Um, we have ours packed right now. So no issues there. Also freezer. Um, we've also kept this pretty clean. Um, there's a option for gas or auto if you're connected to electricity it'll power it electrically and then um, it'll automatically switch over to gas whenever uh, you go when you're hauling of short power yeah, yeah. So. um and then here's your temperature control yep. and it, it will tell you if you run out of propane you'll hear this beeping noise um and then the check light will turn on as well yep. um, more storage more storage, more storage, oven. clean oven. Um, Got these fancy lights. There are the light options for if you like to keep it aesthetic in here. Um, yep, turns on the oven light as well. Easy gas start. You just kind of have to watch and um, let the propane get through your system and just keep turning this at the same time that you're holding this over. We've got these white. Um, Rain, rain guards. guards on here so you can open these vents anytime use them recently cleaned as well yep. this uh, rv is very clean and uh, the exterior will be extremely clean as well um do you want to show how tall you are and how you fit in here just an example so I'm, you are I'm six five feet yeah, five nine or we know you're not five nine. Sorry, five eleven. Five eleven and a half. <laughs> six okay. feet. Six feet, close um, enough. I gotta dip a little bit to get my head under wet, the shower but thingy, but you can adjust right that there. as well. Yeah. We think the water pressure from this is nice. It came with it, um, but a lot of people can you can modify it if you would like. Um, so you can see there's still plenty of room for taller people if you are more than six feet. Um, here is the thermostat uh, with different modes for uh, power, fan, uh, cool, and furnace. And then you can also do low or high or auto and then adjust the temperatures here. Sometimes we like to hang our trash bag right here. So that's why that's there. Totally removable as well because it's a command strip. But yeah, this is the, the RV with it everything um popped out and we have loved it um it's been plenty of space spencer's done work here this can fit two couples sitting here we do that for games or whatever yes um sliding door as well little barn door and it's very secure um, i think am i forgetting anything toilet 
Uh, we have a little squatty potty there, but we have a little handle, a like little flusher there, and it um, automatically fills the bowl with water. If you're an RVer, you understand how that's a good thing. Um, no smells and no sticking, but you can easily fill it as well with just a little light pressure and get it as full as you want. I think that's it. That's it.